You did it. You completed your first YouTube video, and now I'm going to show you how to post your first YouTube video. It's a very simple process. I'm sure you already know how to get started and up and running when it comes to your actual Gmail and YouTube account. Here I am inside of one, and I'm just going to show you where you need to go and what you need to do updated in this current year. So first and foremost, you want to click on the Create button, and from there, click on Upload Videos. As you can see, it's going to say drag and drop video files to upload. I'm just going to select my video file. Give me one second. So I have the video file that I want to upload, and I also happen to have my thumbnail in there. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But what I want to do is just click on that and click open, or just simply double click the video that I want to upload. Upon doing it, it's going to give it some time when it comes to uploading it, checking it, going through the process. But allow me to walk you through these specific sections that are going to be at the top, the description, and of course, down below. First and foremost, we have our title, which is going to be required. What I want to do for a title, usually for me, is going to be based around a specific keyword or phrase people are searching for. So for this, I put how to find good products on ClickBank. What you can also do is check for any relevant keywords that might be similar to that. For example, finding good products, maybe it's a step-by-step -step tutorial. And many times you can put them in parentheses, something like, you know, tutorial for ClickBank and then end parentheses. Okay. And now we have our description. If I hover over the question mark, it'll say writing descriptions with keywords can help viewers find your videos more easily through search. You can give an overview of your video and place keywords in the beginning of the description. Okay, so what I like doing is just normally putting the keyword actually right in the beginning because as they talked about, it's a good uh, practice to do in terms of search. That means when people search for this keyword, it's going to be more likely that you're ranking higher in it. So I put video at the end just to let people know it's a video. I'll hit enter a few times and here is where I'm going to create a description for this specifically. So what we can do is talk about what's going to be in this video. And what I like doing is using keywords that are recommended or related to the one that we have here. So if we have how to find good products on ClickBank, we can talk about maybe just another way of saying that, finding products on ClickBank, how to find the best products. Similar keywords, although not exact, they can also serve a purpose for also ranking for those as well. But if I was going to explain the description very quickly, it's all about writing a few sentences that accurately describes what your video is going to be about while adding in a few keywords here and there. Give me one second, I'll write a description and get right back to you. All right, so here we have it. Thanks for checking out my video about how to find products to promote on ClickBank. Here I will be giving you many tips that will allow you to quickly scroll through the ClickBank marketplace. Okay, so this is actually a keyword that's similar because I use that in this video and pick some of the best offers for you to promote. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I hope that you enjoy this ClickBank tutorial. Another kind of related keyword that I have in here, which is going to help. Also, there's something else I just like doing at the end. For hashtag related, I will see if the main keyword, there's a hashtag for it. There's a good amount of them. So I just like adding in there in case people search for that. And of course, you can get some potential new views from that. So that's going to be the description. And now we have the thumbnail. It says select or upload a picture that shows what's in your video. A good thumbnail stands out and draws viewers' attention. Now, keep in mind, you are going to need to verify your phone within your account if you want to be able to use your own custom thumbnail. As it talks about right here, to verify your channel, you'll ask to enter a phone number. Number, we'll send a verification code by text or voice call to that phone number. So with that, you can upload videos longer than 15 minutes, add custom thumbnails, live stream, and appeal content ID claims. In order to do that, there will probably be some type of button you can go to you know, hit it there. I've already done that, but just to show you, if you go to youtube.com slash verify, that's probably going to be where it's going to end up being within your settings somewhere. So after doing that, that's where you can use your custom thumbnail. Once again, I'm just going to click on this and utilize that one that we talked about before. And as you can see, it's going to be related to the keyword that I want people searching for. So we have ClickBank, how to find good products, pretty much identical to the keyword we're going to be talking about. Next is going to be a playlist. You can create this if you plan on creating a lot of specific videos around the topic that you have right now. Given the fact that mine is going to be about ClickBank, my specific video, I already have a playlist for it. But if you don't have one of those, you can click on new playlist. You can do new playlist, add it in and go from there. Or if you want to add it to a specific one, you can go like that. And given the fact that your first video, you probably don't have many playlists and that's completely okay. But once you add it in, you could just check it off and click on done. And last but not least, a lot of these are just going to be pretty much set unless, you know, read this, make sure that it's not for kids. Obviously, if it is, you'll have to go through and check that out. Uh, paid promotion, if there's anything when it comes to product placement, sponsorship, or endorsement, you can check off. Uh, allow automatic chapters and key moments is going to be fine. That means it can automatically suggest good spots in case your viewers want to skip ahead. 
Featured places, it says help viewers explore key places in your video. These are public places like restaurants and shops. We don't display your current location or other private info. You know, if you want to use that, feel free to. Mine doesn't have any local stuff going on in it, so I just keep it like that. So tags are going to be some of the biggest keywords or the main keywords that you're looking to rank for. So for this, obviously, how to find good products on ClickBank, I'm going to start with that. And I'm going to hit enter. Now, the cool thing is that I am using a tool called TubeBuddy. It is free and they do come with an upgrade if in case you want to use more, but it's going to help you when it comes to finding related keywords. So I can do how to find good products. Let's see on ClickBank and let's see if anything else is there. Okay, so what I can do is go back and I could do like ClickBank say products or products. See products to promote, to promote that's going to be very similar. That's good. We have products. Uh, in 2022, approval, review, landing page, and anything else. We talked about like ClickBank tutorial. So affiliate marketing tutorial, how to promote them. If there's anything else you see, you can simply just click on it. And like I said, this is with TubeBuddy. You can check them out. I will leave a link in the description. They're going to be helpful for a lot of different reasons, but that can be a separate video. All in all, that is going to be the specific section for tags. They talk about how they're not a huge deal nowadays, but the fact that it's so quick to enter them in, I still like doing that. It says tags can be useful if content in your video is commonly misspelled. Otherwise, tags play a minimal role in helping viewers find your video, kind of like what I talked about. But overall, if you scroll down, there's not too much more aside from that. All this is pretty much usually going to be basic in terms of what is allowed here. You, know, you can change this around in the settings and so on and so forth. You can allow comments, you can hold potentially inappropriate ones, or you can just do it like I do for hold all comments because I get a lot of spam and I don't like having people spam and go in. So I just hold them and then of course I can confirm them if needed. So what we want to do next is going to click on next. Here's going to be the monetization. Now, if you just posted your first video, you're probably not going to be able to, you know, check this off. So I'm just going to go with off, click on done. We can go to next. Here, I love adding an end screen. And given the fact that it's your first video, adding an end screen won't be too helpful if it's your only one. However, I will show you how to do it. So when you get your future videos, you'll be good to go. Simply click on the add button here. And from here, you can utilize one of these specific sections. I like the one video and one subscribe. And already what it does is it gives the best for viewers. So YouTube's really good at figuring out what's good for the current audience that's watching the video. So I like keeping it on that. I click on save. And of course, we can click on next. And visibility copyright looks good. And of course, we're going to go with next. So this is going to be the final aspect of it. So everything has checked. All the checks are complete. What you can do is keep it unlisted. Sometimes what I'll do is once it is finished, I will keep it on unlisted and watch it myself just to make sure like I didn't mess anything up. Or sometimes if I want to edit specific portions of it, you can do that. But if everything is good to go, all you need to do is click on the public button and then click publish. And just like that, that is how you post your first YouTube video. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you need a little bit more help when it comes to your SEO optimization of your YouTube videos and a lot of other great tools, I will leave that link down below for TubeBuddy to try it out for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.